Hey guys, I hope you can hear me good because last time my microphone was horrible. I definitely need a new one. Um, and my sister's birds sometimes like to scream a lot in my videos. So hopefully you can hear them and it's all good and I'm not too far from the mic, but um, I haven't posted in a while mostly because my computer has been having issues with memory and it doesn't want to save my videos. So hopefully this video will be saved. I'm gonna try to film it in a way where I don't need to really edit it or minimally edit, edit it so that it will be able to save. I don't even know. But I like to show you my July Sip Spy box and kind of do a different type of video where I am going through the box and also talking to you about life. So somehow I'm gonna incorporate this into one video. So I guess I'll just start with my Sip Spy box. It's a monthly tea subscription and I get it every month. It's $15 a month and you get four different types of teas to try. When you open it, it looks like this, and it's a personalized card that gives you all the information about the teas that you might need, has your name on it, and where to purchase the teas, if you do like them. Every box comes with the reusable muslin cloth bag, so you can use the loose teas. You can use that for the loose teas. Um, and this month, I got a bunch of different types. I got Dragonwell Longjing. It's a China green tea which is probably very roasted tasting. It says herbaceous seaweed roasted as the profile. So we'll have to see about that. Um, I know Chinese green teas can have that kind of grassy taste to them. So green tea is also really good for your metabolism, your skin and antioxidants. So it's a good thing to have. I can throw some mint in it too and make it into an iced tea. And that's by the brand Dragon well if I didn't say. The next tea I have, I've already tried one of them and it's the perfect iced summer tea. It's by Choice Organic Teas, which is one of my favorite tea brands. Hopefully you can see this. It's a blackberry hibiscus herbal tea. This is absolutely amazing. And if you like kind of like that passion tea type of iced tea, then you'll definitely like the blackberry hibiscus by choice. It's super fruity and really refreshing. The next tea I got is, I guess I only got three of these, huh? Usually they give four. Yeah, I guess they just gave three of these. This is uh, Sayra is the brand and Anti is the type. Oh, it's in a different language, that's why. It's Moroccan mint, apple, and rose petals. That should be really different. I'm excited to try that. And the last tea I have here is by Turmeric Teas. Turmeric, I guess, is a very popular thing right now because every Sips by box, I've been getting something with turmeric in it. Not complaining, but it is called Dusk. It's a calming organic lemongrass tea with turmeric. It has lemongrass, turmeric, ginger, fennel, and black cracked pepper. So this is supposed to be kind of like a calming, something you drink before bed type of tea. That's everything I got in my Sip Spy box. If you want more information about Sip Spy, check the description box below. I post a video every month unboxing what I get. And if you're a tea lover like me, then you're definitely gonna wanna check those out. I'll leave all my other Sip Spy videos down below also, so you can watch them all and see what I get over the course of a year. Okay, I'm in a much more calm mood than I was yesterday. I was, I should have filmed this yesterday because I was more super happy and stoked and now I'm like, I overslept and I'm really tired and super calm, but it's all right. Um, I wanted to talk to you about how my life has been, kind of like a, a life slash anxiety update. I know I do a lot of anxiety videos and any of the videos that I have, I'll leave the link down below so you can check those out if you'd like, but over the course of a year, I feel like I've changed so much. It's insane. Yeah. I'm just, I feel like I grew so much in one year more than I have in like three of the past years. It's so weird, like growing up and changing. For the first time since I was probably just out of high school, I have a part-time job and it's, easily manageable for me. I was intimidated by this just because of how bad my anxiety was. My agoraphobia got to a point where I couldn't leave the house at a certain point in my life. And that was a really dark time where I felt like I was never going to be a normal functioning human being. 
Um, technically, I, I have a part-time job and I work a gardening job also. And then I do YouTube on the side. And I also take, you know, modeling jobs here and there, video jobs here and there, editing stuff for people, whatever. But it has always just been anything from home, just like quick dog walking things, just the smallest things that built up to this point. And it really had to do with taking my own baby steps and building my own confidence to get where I am. A few years ago, I could never drive more than three hours. I couldn't even think of driving. My comfort zone like a year or two ago was driving an hour away. Um, now I'm able to do like day trips that are three or four hours there and back. Well, three hours there, three hours back, maybe four. It, it depends. But, and I'm excited about these trips. I'm more excited than nervous. And I used to be more nervous and feel sick about it it's just like crazy how things have changed and how I've started letting go and a lot of that has to do with I feel like this goes hand in hand but I used to be more controlling about um, the way I ate and just every little thing in my life so I would have to have like kind of full control over it um, that's just pretty much an anxiety thing because you feel safe or you feel comfortable with one thing. I just have been letting go. I used to be like a complete health nut. I would avoid anything that wasn't organic, not GMO. This is normal. People do this all the time because, you know, GMOs and pesticides are probably bad for you. We don't know. They're probably bad for you. It's probably easier to just eat something that doesn't have chemicals in it or that isn't genetically modified but in a way it's not easier because it's more expensive. Uh, so I started letting that go a little bit. I still eat a very healthy diet. I'm mostly plant-based. I eat the most fruits and vegetables I can. My, my diet is pretty much primarily based off of fruits and vegetables and like beans, but I once in a while have something that's artificially colored, artificially flavored if I feel like doing it. And it's kind of like a fuck that or fuck you to like, this structure just starting to let go on little things that i like had this huge structure to and like trying new things trying things that i was afraid of that i've been afraid of it's really helped me a lot another thing about like growth and growing is like saying no and not feeling as guilty about saying no to something that i don't want to do i used to be a girl who was afraid to say no and would do things that I didn't want to do just because I wanted to please other people or I was just afraid of them getting upset at me or not liking me if I didn't say yes I'll do this for you all you know I'll do this or I'll be this way along with saying no to things is also accepting things that aren't right for you um, for many years I would hold on to things and cling to them because I was in denial that they weren't right for me. Sometimes when we love something, we don't want to let it go because we've known it for so long. And at a certain point of our life, it was the right thing and it was a good fit. But as you get older, you change. Some people really do change. And I feel like I grew out of the young girl who I was and now I'm growing into a different person in a way. I'm the same girl, but I'm just, more grown up in a way so i was just in denial that something that was becoming toxic um was something that i needed to part with and that is hard when it's something or someone that you've known for so long and you loved for so long and you'll always love that thing but it's just not it's just not your path anymore it's not meant to be in your life at this time or forever um either way how it pertains to your life or my life it's just what it is. You have to part with things that aren't right for you as you live your life. And that was just kind of like a hard thing for me. I just feel like even though the past few summers I have been great because of the sun and the warmth, it's been great for my anxiety. I feel like this summer I've been just breaking through it. And I used to say that I could live my whole life without getting on an airplane and be fine. Like, I don't care, I don't need to be on an airplane, but now I'm more, I'm kind of just thinking about that more and more and being like, my next goal is like, I wanna get on an airplane. And I just never thought I would challenge myself with that. I never thought that I would torture myself with that, but I wanna go to a lot of places. And I just feel like 
since I've given myself baby steps and time, I'm working my way up to something and I'm gonna be able to handle it. It might be hard, but I'll be able to handle it. And then once you do it once with anxiety, as if any of you have it, um, which I know a lot of people have it, um, if you know, anxiety gets better once you, usually once you do it more than once, you're gonna build the confidence and say, I did that, I was okay, nothing bad happened, so I'm gonna do it again. And that's just, that's just where I am. I, I'm starting to be less afraid of things and more excited about them. And I have my limits still, like with work and with loading a schedule up, I need to give myself time in between to, to kind of like just decompress after, but I've needed a lot less of that than I used to. So I used to, if I went on a road trip, I would need the whole full next day to just relax and do absolutely nothing, just to calm myself down, get myself back to a calm state. Now I can do stuff the next day. Like it's, it's not as much as energy levels as it is anxiety that would deplete my energy levels. So I'm getting better at handling situations so I'm not exhausting myself and giving, having to give myself a whole another day to like chill. Every situation is different, but I just realized that I'm getting better with that. I feel like I'm talking about me a lot in this video. I think that's what it was supposed to be about, but how are you guys doing? Leave a comment down below. If you have anxiety or any kind of mental health disorder, any kind of issue in your life, let me know how you're doing because I care about you too, not just me. I also wanted to make this video for you guys because I want to help other people realize that you could come from a spot or a place where you thought you would never be able to have a job or being a, be a working, contributing member of society and always have to be like cooped up at home, going out for maybe an hour of the day, coming home and just trying to get yourself together the rest of your life. Um, you don't have to th feel or think that that will be you. You just need to have that little something inside of you that says, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit scary today. And if I fail, it's okay because I could try again the next day. I can go out to that grocery store and if I can't make it through the doors, they'll turn around and I'm gonna try tomorrow. And maybe I'll get two steps in the door tomorrow and then I'll come home and I'll try again the next day. And maybe I'll get inside and buy one thing. That is what got me to where I am today. Literally driving to a grocery store and practicing trying to stay there without running back home and leaving. And, succumbing to my um, agoraphobia. It's really hard to think that you could get this far because when I was in that dark place, I never thought I'd be here um, or even close to it, but just trust the process. Just trust your own self in getting yourself that drive to try, to keep trying to not give up, to not just fall into the comfort of being home or fall into the comfort of whatever your anxiety wants to tell you is the right thing because your anxiety is evil and it doesn't, it's not telling you the truth. I feel like I should do more story times and more videos like this, maybe a little bit more organized than this soon. So if you like this style of video, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. That will also let me know that you like this type of video. Um, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and um, Thanks for watching. Any information about Sip Spy and the teas will be down below in the description box. So yeah, thanks for watching.